In this video, I'm going to show you guys the defense that I ran to get top 25 this weekend on PS5. Let's get into it. I've not been playing much of Weekend League this year. I just have not found the passion. I just ha haven't enjoyed the game. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Ran a new offense ran a new defense and i had a lot of fun this dollar man this dollar three to six it's the best defense for me i really enjoyed it. it's got a good blitz and it can play amazing coverage out of it as well because you've got so many dbs on the field you're so flexible and i love every minute of it i am in the 46 defensive playbook now that is an alternate playbook that is not a regular team playbook you have to get an alternate playbook there are sets in the game that you can get this an ultimate team with and you can buy it on the auction block. The reason why I have it is because I can run 3-3-5 wide as well. What you do is you go to 3-3-5 normal just like this, sub in safeties at that linebacker uh, position, and then go to 3-3-5 wide. But this is not what this video is about. We're talking about dollar 3 6 and I'm going to call DB Fire 2. And now we're gonna get into the setup for the Blitz, and it's really simple. What you want to do is you want to go into your coaching adjustments and go to base align. Make sure that it's baseline. That is like the second thing from the auto flip on or off. Put your flats at 25 and your curl flats at 5 and your hook curls at 5. That's it. Those are the adjust adjustments that I recommend. Let's get into it. Now you're going to baseline press. If you don't have baseline on, then you're going to have to baseline manually. But otherwise, you can just press. And this is how the blitz looks. Now, first of all, I'm going to send this out. Uh, I'm going to send five people out on defense and offense and we'll see how we can get a free rusher. This is one of the best blitzes in the game. Sometimes practice mode does not do it justice. Sometimes practice mode is funky and it's just not going to uh, come in. But you just saw right there, it came in very, very nicely. And right there, you see, didn't come in. But trust me, guys, in online games, in my head to head, this comes in very, very consistently. Not even very consistently. I think if, if I block, I've never blocked this blitz uh, if I send out five people. I just have not like right there you see that's what happens generally now i want to show you guys this against a blocked running back which generally an ultimate team does not take care of it for me i really suck at picking this blitz up but right there you see the pick gets uh, the blitz gets picked up but because we've got so many people rushing we have a lot of opportunities for sheds and i'm just gonna run this a couple of times um just so you guys can see that this is a very good blitz uh so right here i'm just sending it and we got picked up again uh right there it actually took a while to get in once again, run this in Ultimate Team and you'll have a lot of success. I hate that practice mode is like this uh, because I can just easily be lying to you guys. I can ju just be like, okay, well, yeah, the Blitz looks bad here, but in Ultimate Team is actually good when it also is bad in Ultimate Team. But this Blitz is what the, what the pros are running. Uh, this is the Blitz that got uh, Noah to win his uh, first, uh, second belt. Not his, not his first. His second belt this year. Uh, that's the defense that he ran with Sponge. And he was just locking folks down. So I'm going to run this one more time. Against the five out, it comes in consistently. Trust me, guys. Also with this block tight end and the blocked running back. The only thing that I have found to work consistently is like max protect. But I really do not want to have to do this every down. Like if I have to max protect all down, like right there, you see, this is what happens. Uh, we just get crazy angles. Uh, the D line kind of works to the outside, and this kind of makes it difficult for the linemen to pick up the cornerbacks and also the running back because the cornerback just gets a weird angle. If you wouldn't mind, just please take a few seconds out of your day, subscribe to this channel, it would support me a lot. Leave a like while you're at it as well. YouTube algorithm really likes it, and it would help this video reach more people. Thanks so much. And while we're thinking about how a bunch of people are going to attack us with this, what they're going to do mainly is they're going to throw flats because remember, we have got 25s on the outside. Now, this is where we have to kind of be a little bit good with our adjustments. The first adjustment that I recommend is a deep uh, deep third on the right like this. Put this guy in a curl flat. Move him out a little bit. Or you can use him if you want to. You just have to understand, okay, in this case, I have to use her. Um, do we have any play that's kind of good? No, it's not. Uh, we're just going to make sure to play. In this setup, it is your responsibility. Let's go with something like this. In your... In this setup, it is your responsibility to cover the flat, okay? Right as I see the flat, I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to lurk this. That's what you have to do. I'm sorry, you you have to kind of vacate your zone in that, in, in that case. What you can also do if you want, you can just run the setup like this. Put this guy in a curl flat, boom. And then we're going to run the same setup on offense. I'm just going to set this up. And now you, of course, have a different responsibility. You're going to snap this ball. And now your job is to watch out for the running back. Okay, the deep in route. And we've got the play covered. Now, one last step that I want to leave you guys off with is very similar. And we're going to 
send nine people in coverage now that's right we're only gonna rush two people what you want for this is you want a pretty good coverage linebacker in this spot like number 54 is not really suited for this uh but trust me guys if you have someone better there then you're gonna have a lot of fun so this is how the play looks now hold on we're gonna reset the play and we're gonna start over again so you're gonna press and then you're going to uh, put these guys right here on the right in a deep half and uh, not in the deep half in a cover three shell so this is how this looks this cornerback right now he goes into the curl flat remember that is at five yards then we're going to have this uh, rusher go into a three rack hook which is an amazing play how you do this is you just bluff blitz him and then he gets into this zone and then on the left side we can do a couple of things we can if we want man up the running back we can put a curl flat out there which once again is at five yards and this is how the play then looks it's craziness but we've got two people rushing and everything will be bagged i promise you that so right here you see nothing is open and of course uh with two people rushing it can sometimes take a while but believe me if you have nine people in coverage nothing is going to be open and two man rushes they're kind of unpredictable uh sometimes they really glitch and you just get a shed within three to four seconds and that just happens and that can really throw off your opponent's drive it's important you mix it up because once again if you look at this it's the same coverage like uh, look at this on defense or uh, look, look at this on offense i guess what is the difference between this when i'm sending a blitz and then if i set up the coverage just like this it, it looks the exact same but crazy different backside adjustments and this is something that i would recommend you guys go into practice mode for you just have to practice getting these adjustments done it's not that difficult just spend five minutes and you get the adjustment for the coverage now and then you'll be locking people up i promise you guys that now that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh there is more to say about this defense dollar is my main defense i'm running it i'm having fun with it i'm experimenting with it a lot and i'm finding new things this will be a multi-part series i don't know how many parts to be honest with you uh, but we'll just go through and I'll tell you everything I need, that you need to know and that I know about this defense in the coming videos. So make sure to subscribe for that if you don't want to miss that, if you want to make this defense as versatile as possible, if you want to know how to stop the run out of this, if you want to know how to run glitchy match coverage out of this, I'm signing off. I appreciate the support as always. Peace out.